Hello everyone and thank you so much for coming today with me. Um, hi Sunny Sims. Um, so I'm really sorry about last Sunday. We had a lot of trouble with, um, I don't know, maybe the GPU or the lag or anything. Uh, we got cut off and then I went back and then it was laggy. So I watched a lot of tutorial. I think I fixed some stuff so I changed the way it, the video was recorded. And also, it seemed that the problem was coming from suspense. Um, so, so, so. Sorry, I just I've moved some stuff around. So, uh, hi, Suzanne! Thank you so much for coming in, and thank you so much for the subscribe as well. Uh, welcome in. Uh, so, substance painter is a really a sucker kind of because um, when you add a new material in the library some it can be either uh, something that you um, buy from the source library but also some stuff you don't know from people and kind of like the sims the stuff you don't know from people can be really tricky so um, first you don't have to um, especially save everything in your library especially if you don't intend to use it again so it's better to look for new material each time and then delete it because every time you will open the uh, software it will load again all the materials so i had a lot of very very heavy material in my library i had no idea i had no idea it was like kept it kept up like this Hi Rustic Sims, thank you so much for coming in and hi Koshka as well. Koshka is a new creator too, he's making he, she, they, I don't know, sorry for assuming. Um, they're making clothes and I think uh, they are going to do a live stream tomorrow as well in the afternoon, 2 p.m. in my time. Uh, your library sounds like my mods folder, <laughs> yeah, definitely, exactly, exactly. Um, so uh, either when you have too much stuff you will slow down the computer but also sometimes you download stuff and you don't know what you are downloading and sometimes it's not really bad quality but it's like very heavy so it's better not to save it in your mods folder and just use it when you need it so lesson learned i really hope that today we go uh, more smoothly than last time and so for the newcomers i'm double streaming on both youtube and twitch so every time i'm reading something and you're not seeing this because it's the in the other chat that's why i'm reading everything you will say hi dreda welcome in so what is for today and uh, thank you for the follow la la lucy bug so today today yeah today i'm first going to show you my um just released 
CC set that I released this afternoon. And I will also show you uh, my Christmas stuff incoming for next month, which is supposed to be secret. So um, I'm not supposed to talk about it because uh, it's a surprise, but I, I assume that it's, it's um, you know, live streaming. It's, it's not really publishing. So I will just give you a little hint of it and you will all be able to discover it on TSR. Hi, Soneyon Z. Um, so my uh, CC release from today is a hot tub, second hot tub with a gazebo. And also some, some feeling low bushes because um, I really like uh, watching uh, tap that A, tap, tap that A. I think it's tap that A. I should have. Sorry, I didn't do. I'm, I'm really bad with that uh, streaming stuff, but she's. I don't know if there's uh, any followers of her in the chat right now, but if you can uh, link the link. She's um, a streamer on Twitch and I really like uh, watching her build and everything. And she was asking me that she was using a lot of the, um, the lobush from, from, you know, base game. That, that kind of, uh, not, not this one, uh, more like, um, maybe the, end the floor, yes, that one. So she's using a lot of do stuff, you know, when, when you want to feel stuff um well yeah stuff and sh you know um, maxi match is not always nice so i made dues so dues are filler so you can use to to feel when when you have somewhere you want to hide uh, with uh, grass and plants so you have this hot tub hi good evening sneaky crew thank you and welcome in so this is the new um, hot tub. So you have four swatches, white and beige, black and gray, and you have with or without the pedal. Hmm, I'm wondering why this one is darker than the other ones, probably because the bottom is darker. Yes, that's one. So it's fully functional even if uh, the animation is a little bit displaced because, you know, um, it's fixed. Hi, Sia Janet, and thank you and welcome in. And thank you so much for loving my CC. So this is uh, all in separate paths. So you can uh, keep the top or not. I also made it uh, in, uh, this is medium size, which means four tile. And there is also something smaller if you pref prefer something smaller. And the lights, so during night, then it's very romantic. And you have a swinging table, also functional. So if I ask my pretty lady to go sit in here, she will, you know, get sit. She's a bit chilly. And I think that's it from this set. So this was released today. Now, how about the new Christmas stuff? Mm. There you go. So there were two theme. I will start a new room just to show you. So two theme. We had the choice between a rustic country. No, country, country Christmas, I think it was. So let's add some window so you can see what we're doing i had all your creativity thank you so much and the texture looks really good sorry i have um, a thing with my cat cat um Piwi that you saw on the advertising from my stream because she's um, she has allergy and she's scratching her so much that now she has some 
uh, how to say, um, she's kind of bleeding a little. So we're trying to keep her from scratching, but you know, as if we could control the cat. But so we're, yeah, some wounds exactly. So we're trying. I want to avoid to put her the the collar because. She's, uh, she's allergic because she's very stressed and I, th I think that if I put the collar it will be worse. So I, I, I'm just trying to... I do have one but I, I want to avoid it. I'm supposed to, to, to um, get an appointment to the veterinary because I, I don't know what else to do. It's kind of a nasty circle because the more she scratch the more she has wounds the more it's scratchy so the more she scratch so it's a kind of never ending circle and if i want it to stop crashing i need to heal the wounds but then bite the bullet give it to her it's better so self mutination yeah you probably were right yeah i think i would put her after the stream Merci pour tes merveilleuses créations. Thank you so much, Lia DP. Well, I, I will try because, you know, she's not, she's not easy to manipulate. Anyway, I will keep a, a bit of a wall because I have a fireplace to show you. So let's start with the rustic one. So, rustic. Christmas. So for those who were here, um, I think it was last Tuesday, was it? Oh, this is so cool. First stream on your account for me. Welcoming, Avery Chan. So for those who were here uh, last time, we made those socks during the live. So that was part of the set. So you will have this very nice fireplace, of course, or functional, with this armchair. And the nice thing about the armchair is all the swatches. So you have like plain one, but also, you know, Christmas one. Uh, so this one and black and white and the red and green and gray. I'm here early. Hi, Maria Victoria Morica. Welcoming. Um, and the blanket, of course, to go with it. And the pillows, of course. If you've seen my, my live stream from last Sunday, now you know as well how to do some pillows. Hi, Felipe. Welcoming. Thank you so much for coming here again. How are you? And what else? So I made like my pumpkin, uh, no, citrus set, uh, where I made, um, you know, the, the wrath with uh, the bat. I made the same version for Christmas. Um, pretty fireplace. I'm dying for CC, but I am on Xbox. Yeah, I know. It's, it sucks that console players are not able to, to actually have some CC. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. So, so this is, um, the door comes with the rat. So when the Sims will be using the rat, then the rat, we actually moves. So that's, that's cool. And the plant that we also did during a live stream. So poinsettia. And uh, we have a kind of rustic rug. And what else? So this is another thing, but it goes because there is another artist uh, from TSA that it's doing uh, this collaboration. So this will go with his set and it's flickering. Yay! So he's, he's, he made some Christmas tree. So I'm using this on his Christmas tree. So I want to show his work, especially since it's not finished, but this will go exactly on his Christmas tree. And I like, I like flickering stuff. Uh, what else? And what I like the most are those decoration. So those are twig made decoration. And the best of it is that they wait for it. Shh. 
shine in the dark. Yay! And I think that's it. Uh, oh no, I have also this. This is a um, decoration box. So if you have season, you can, uh, you know, deactivate or not the decoration around the fences. And I always thought the original box was ugly. So this is a basic capo box that you can uh, put on a shelf and you can even like put it very small and put it on a shelf and then and then you can you know change and remove those ugly uh, decoration on the fence and um, and all around the house and this one is, is is very very discreet and actually it's it's animated as well because it's a functional item so if i ask my skin my, my sim to actually like remage for stuff it's animated so i made some bolts in it there you go so this is the first one go hide stop it and you know The game box is awful, totally agree. Like every time I'm like, oh man. Anyway, so this one is nice. Awesome, you always are, thank you so much. And these are amazing. Thank you, Rocket Ship, and thank you, and welcome in. So this is for the countryside. And the second theme was I will try another flow for that one, something more, more blend, that will blend better. So the, the second one was Colorful Christmas. So I named it Arc-en-Ciel, which means rainbow in French. ID for CC, blind star are Christmas texture for windows. I met some actually last year. Last year I made uh, this for TSA. And, and you have blind with, you know, this little tree, so you can probably, oh, that's too big. But with two, you can probably make them uh, for Christmas. And I made some decal as well, so you can put on the window, you know, like the snow, snowy stuff. Merry Christmas! Yay! So I'm sure with two, Your floor rocks thank you thank you so much uh anyway so the second one arc-en-ciel which means uh, rainbow in, in french is very very colorful so you will have um, many colors so they are pink white red orange yellow green blue purple black and gold and Everything is very, uh, I don't know, glitter, glittery. So this is glitter. And this is glitter as well. And uh, these are the same green deer, but, you know, more glitter. So this set is fabulous. Like this. And you have gifts and a neon rainbow tree wow so it's very very modern and you will have some stars you can put on the wall or on the floor let's change the color like this and same with snowflake or on the floor and as well a wool 
this is a wall. Oh, I have to go to bed. Amazing CC. Have a nice day, night, evening, afternoon. Thank you so much and good night. Why I hate it? I uh, I love it for the sim. Why do you hate it? Because it goes everywhere. Everywhere it touches. Yeah, I can definitely understand that. My uh, boyfriend went on, um, on a trip this summer with his uh, friends. It was something like uh, with a costume, kind of silly stuff with boys. And he's, he was costumed into a mermaid costume. So the thing he had, the, the kind of skirt he was using, he was, using was uh, with some sequin and glitter. And I can still find some those pink sequin everywhere in the house and it's been almost five months now but i still find them i feel like i i i've spent uh, i uh, like um, put the vacuum like so many times but i still find some they're everywhere amazing set thank you thomas uh so here and my best item as usual is Ah, is ah. Let's put it on the side. Flickering light, and you can change the color. So this is pink, but I can have blue or green if I want. Yay! So <laughs> beautiful. I love flickering light. So that can be some. Uh, oh no, I forgot one. And last item is. Yeah, this rug. Star rug. Yes, let's show us how the fireplace is functional. As if it was not in the middle of summer, but whatever. There you go. No, don't put picture. Don't take pictures because you know it's supposed to be a secret surprise set for TSR. So no screenshot, no leak, no leak, leak um, content. Um, okay, guys, we we are going to let them know each other because I think I just created him just to take the picture in the hot tub. So they probably. Oh, they are a bit in love. Uh, pictures of your maybe for friend at this stream. Well, um, I think they were even a video, but I was not uh, allowed to see it, unfortunately. And um, yeah, he had a wig, a purple wig, and a, a t-shirt uh, implying that he won't be uh, going to paradise or something like that. So I wish I, I wish I had a picture. <laughs> Um, anyway, so this is save and exit, yes. So the other thing coming is my uh, website that will become uh, Christmas, how, how did I say, Christmasized. So I made a Christmas version of my um, website, but most of all, I will bring back the advent calendar starting the 1st of December. So if you remember, for those who were already around last year, I made an interactive uh, advent calendar last year. So that was that one. So last year, I had this where every every day you could flip a new um, frame a, a new card and you had a new cc every day like one piece of cc and the big one at the end so i remade it for this year so this will be 
the new edition of my advent calendar so this year it's all gold so it's not open yet and this one is uh, from last year so it's not the really first one but so this year it's all gold and you will have all the frame to open starting starting soon starting in two weeks i'm really excited i hope i, I really like it i i hope i like christmas and i feel like uh last year i didn't really had a christmas because of the pandemic um i didn't see any of my family i didn't even put a christmas tree because you know if you don't do the dinner with you, if you don't reunite with your family like making a christmas you kind of make no sense so i didn't even do my christmas tree and i do love to make a christmas tree so hi charlotte welcome in and stunning thank you so much so I'm really excited this year because I will be able to um, to make my Christmas tree and actually meet my family and I'm excited with this new advent calendar as well. So this is the surprise coming soon. And for today, what are we going to do? I almost made a plan today but failed because I forgot a step. Well that happens and Next time, uh, don't hesitate to uh, come in my Discord to ask him for help. Beautiful, I love gold. Yes, me too. To this year, I feel like glitter and gold. So today, your objects are beautiful. Thank you so much, Thomas. So today, um, I recall why I was watching a stream with people um, using my content that I, I have no single belt for adults like i have i think one for kids but i don't have anyone like i, I don't have one for adults so when you want to, to make a single something like for the uni or or even you want something small tiny and not really a double room i don't have anything so my idea today was to make a bedroom for one people but still still kind of a design uh, I'm going to run. This was fun. Thank you for being so interactive with us. Hugs and love. Thank you so much, Susan, for coming by, for passing by, and and hopefully see you next time. So I gathered some uh, inspiration images. So first, this will be the look of my single bed. So this one is a double bed, but I will make it single bed. So I really like the uh, meta frame and the geometric um, shape of it so i uh, will do something like that and i will also make or try to make because it's very difficult and you know it's not always working on my first try so we are going to do this during the live stream but if it doesn't work i won't struggle that much uh, during the live stream because it can be very um, you know, two step ahead and, and three step back with this process so hopefully it works on my first try but let's try it because now that I have no now that I have started to do animated bidding I can't play um, without anymore because I used to use the bidding from EA and then add the quilt and pillows over it like decor item and obviously it makes more beautiful beddings because it looks very comfy and welcoming and cozy and the picture is nice but when you actually play i really don't like that the seams you know going through it and you can't really see what's happening in the bed and who's in it and stuff like that and because i like also playing with wicked wing uh you know when you don't see anything happening at all it kind of break the mood so so now i prefer to do the bidding uh, correctly like i really like uh, watching my sims going under it uh, even for kids i think the last the last bed i made for for the kids for the toddler i think is uh, animated bedding so now i will do only animated bedding even if it means having less um, pillows and and maybe less blanket over it uh, I really love you doing that i just wanted to know how i could do a bed it's very 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 complicated so you can follow today and hopefully I will go through to the end. 
um, but I definitely won't make a tutorial. Uh, sorry, a tutorial about it because it would be too long and too complicated to explain. Basically, it's the same process that making clothing. So, so if you already watched a tutorial about weight transfer, it's kind of the same process. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Have a great stream and see you soon. Bye, bye, Sarah Janet. Thank you for passing by. And Rebel Angel is coming as well. Hi, I'm happy I finally get to see one of your streams live. You helped a lot with my CC creation. Thank you so much and welcome in. Um, so this is my, my, my idea for the bed. I also want to add um, a new rack with clothes. So I really like having the clothes outside of the dresser. I think it really makes the interior of the Sims more lively. So I will uh, go for something very simple like that. I'm still not sure if I will uh, keep it square like this because I also think like having round stuff is nice as well. So I'm not sure about the design on that one uh, for now. But I really like the very simple small one tile uh, with uh, clothes on it. Uh, I also want to try this. I'm not sure I will be able to do it. I want to try it with transparency, but I find it very beautiful. And same with this lamp with the mirror. Uh, so, um, and all the clutter on this, I really like. So I will try something like this, maybe a candle like this. And I also like this swing, very simple, very efficient. And if I'm, I'm not too uh, tired and sick, because usually when I start making CC after 10 items, I'm sick of my own set and I want to uh, start doing something. And usually I just stop making new items and I'm already looking for references for all the items. So that means I should change. So if I'm not tired of it, I might add a desk uh, with something like this. Um, so I want to mix um, pastel color for this one and metal. Uh, so that will be white and beige, pink, blue, green, gray, but very light colors with uh, light wood. Uh, maybe one black version because I like sometimes doing uh, all black interior. So many beautiful inspo pick. I love hanging chairs though, and that was the first one that got my attention. <laughs> I love it too. Even if in real life I can't get in one because I'm, I'm seasick, uh, I've got uh, transportation sickness. So when I uh, sit on one and it moves too much, it kind of make me very uh, dizzy. The chair with the fur blanket is cute too. Yes, this one is very cute too. Maybe I will do that one. Actually, I made kind of something very similar uh, when I made my any set, I think. Something with the fur like this. But the problem is, is the fur in game, it doesn't really render that well because, you know, the transparency is very ugly. So you kind of have to apply the texture on it. So it's never really fluffy like that. I think the best I could do was something like... Um, I think it was from my Annie set, from the outdoor set. It was kind of similar than that. This one. This one. But you know how it make it not really fluffy around it, so. Not sure I'm using it a lot because of that. But let's see, maybe. So there we go. Um, all right, so let's start. So we are going to make a single bed. So I'm first uh, starting with cloning a bed to keep the proportion. Uh, I will also try to take a bed that is already kind of high in its settings because people always uh, hate when the bed is bad quality when you create um, a new one. So I think that one is probably very expensive. So probably best best one. 
Yeah, I don't think it works as best compared to the picture, but blanket clutter is so nice to have. Yeah, agreed. Um, so I think this one is probably high high quality bit. So let's try that one. So I call this set Adrienne because I like giving French um, female name to my uh, interior set. So that will be Sib Adrienne single bed. So the beds are kind of easy and kind of difficult at the same time. The easy way is if you don't change the bedding because in the mesh of, ooh, actually not the single one. Ooh, interesting. Because usually, let me show you. Usually when you clone a, a double bed. No, double bed. The frame of the bed and the mattress are separated. So you have two textures. So one for the uh, frame and one for the bedding. But also here, you will have two separated beddings. So usually people create, a, they kind of uh, split them. So then, then people can choose and mix and match. Um, but apparently in the single one, it's not the case, which is kind of shame because, you know, we will we'll be missing some space on the UV map, but fine. Um, I also want to check, I think it's here. Yes, so 10, 10, 10 everywhere is good. So that's what we want. So if you want to keep the animation of the bed, you will have to change the frame, but keep the bedding from EA. So you will have to recolor the bedding but the best when you're starting and you don't want to change the bedding is just to keep the mattress just the way it is and don't touch at it at all especially when exporting stuff in a i wonder has anyone else sought single beds in tears for seem weirdly narrow yeah well let's change that because i i think they are very narrow because they are supposed to fit one tile i think let's see it So if I go in um, top view, I will remove all the lamp and rig and camera because I don't need it. And I will also activate the screencast here so you can see what I'm doing. And remove. So I think if you see the, the, the tile, one tile in Blender is one tile in game. So I'm pretty sure they are very narrow because they want to fit inside the one tile, but it's still very narrow. So the one we are, we will make, we will make it a bit wider. Yeah, it's narrow compared to my own twin belt, sing, swinger bed. Yeah, definitely. I had um, a single bed when I was li living in my um, mother and it was definitely it was narrow, but not like that. And this one is very narrow. So let's see if I wanted, for example, this is probably better. See, it's, it's not much, but it definitely looks better. And it's still one tile, kind of. If, ish, one tile. So what I'm going to do for now my technique is to keep the mattress and and all the bedding because okay let me show you first so here we have what we call the weight the weight are how the game will apply the animation depending on which color we put here so 
For the transform bone, it's everything that will not move. So in transform bone, everything that is red, meaning the frame, will and the mattress, will never move whatever happens to the item. And the blue is supposed to have something happening. So bed are complicated because they are a lot. And actually on single bed, they are less than them because in double bed, they are uh, double of them. So each part will show which part of your mesh will move when the animation will start. So basically you can kind of guess, so make bed mid. So it means uh, when they are waking up and they are like putting the cover, it's probably uh, what is red is what we move and everything around. Um, so what is complete red is what moving and what is complete blue is what not moving. So every everything is between will deform the mesh. Um, so you will have different parts of everything. And if you have even slightest one pixel that is not the exact color it's supposed to be, you will have that is just poking around uh, in game and it will, the, the result will be a catastrophe. So this is what this part is probably the... Uh, okay, hi everyone, thank you so much uh, for coming here. Uh, last time this happened, the red, I had no idea what it was because I'm really, really new to Twitch. So, so I had to check like what is happening to my chat because I don't have any moderator I, at all. So I was like, oh crap, what's going on? And it's just nice people joining in. So thank you for joining in and welcome in and welcome everyone. And thank you for the follow as well. And welcome, welcome. We are explaining a very, very complicated part in CC making. Um, uh, which is uh, how to make the bedding animated because I'm sick of having the the clutter decor blanket and pillows and then you have the sims like sleeping through it and then you don't see you know who's in your bed and it's it's very annoying taking uh, CC uh, clothes and CAS it's actually working exactly that way so when you make a dress and you will have to show which part will deform when the sims is walking and everything the lovely Kalo official suggested you very excited to see some CC being created well thank you Kalo official and thank you for uh, dropping in and Maria says, I'm so curious about how you make beds. I messed up the weight the only time I tried to use another mesh. Well, the first time I tried it, I think I spent two days trying to fix my meshes. And I finished to ask by, uh, to Little Dika, which is um, who is another CC creator, very really nice one. And it's how we met and now we are very, very friend. So that was, uh, you know, nice to fail because then I, I could actually meet him uh, that is super annoying did not know there was a way around that well there is a way but it's complicated that's why everyone <laughs> avoid it uh, so I'm, I'm still kind of new to it so I think I have only um, three beds that has um, animated be bedding everything before that still have the ancient bedding you deserve more attention because making CC for the game plus keeping the game alive is really hard. Thank you so much. Yeah, wow, I'm learning. So, um, so first we are uh, we cloned this bed, and what I was uh, showing, like what we noticed is the single bed in the Sims are very very narrow, which is kind of weird. So either narrow or very long, but it's kind of weird. So we make them larger. So they are still one tile because we don't want them to be too big, but at least the proportion are a little bit more realistic. And the bed is so cute. The bed is base game EA. Don't get excited. It's not mine. Uh, your accent is beautiful. Also, you have excellent English. Thank you so much. My accent is just French, I guess. <laughs> okay, calm down, Kalo. Um, right, so 
uh, what we're going to do for now is we are going to keep the bedding and everything because we want to copy the weight from it and we are going to redo the frame the frame are easy because the frame don't move doesn't move french so much prettier sounding that english accent uh, i do love uh, i do love the english accent and uh, thank you for the follow sharing uh, i really like uh, in english from england uh, especially when it's like the, the the far you go from from london the wider the accent uh, A British accent, yes, exactly. I love it. And I uh, I went to study in uh, Australia, and the accent was like, not pretty, but fun as well. Very fun to listen. Yeah, there are so many accents in the UK. There's so many accents in the world. Like even like Indian accent are kind of wild as well. <laughs> so Chitam has British accent as well. I love listening to British accents. Anyway, so um, to be sure I'm going to keep whatever I need to keep, I will select the transform bone because transform bone, if you remember, are the things that are not moving. So I'm removing the frame. I'm also removing, no, I'm keeping the mattress because there's no point of re, oh, maybe I will, I don't know. I see later, shit. So for now, I'm trying to just remove this. Yes. No, there's still some piece in it. Ah, come on, come in. Okay. All right. Just delete. Yes, in your face. And OC is not sexy. I didn't say it was sexy. I said it was wild or funny. It's funny, I think. Creaky, put a shrimp. Yeah, mate. Is there a way to CC make the bed by reducing the bump in the pillow? Is there a way to CC make the bed? Sorry, Fifth Fifth Avenue girl. I don't understand your question. Is there a way to CC make the bed? Sorry. Uh, so the reference we have for this bed is this one. We are going to use this reference. So basically it's wireframe with geometric uh, shape in it. Oh my God. Yeah, now, the, now you can get excited. This is the bed we are making, not the other one. So this is the bed we are making. Oh wow, this is such a cool bit so far. Yeah. I totally see myself using this. Yeah, me too. Except it's too small. Now I'm used to have like larger bed. You know, you, when, once you go large, you can't go back to smaller one. Uh, I used to have, uh, like, I think it was like one thing. Um, how to say it. it's like in between the single and and double it's like one meter 20 um, wide when i was living in japan is it possible to make a functional new mesh for the bed bedding yes it it is and this is what we are going to do today tonight or at least i will try because as i say the process is still kind of new to me to me so every time i do it it's, it's not always working on my first try and then I, I, I get annoyed. So I will try and if it doesn't work, then we'll see, but no promise. But last time I did for the, for the toddler bed, uh, it was easier. It works better on my first try. So let's, let's hope it works for now. So because I don't want to touch the bed, I will just uh, create another item once again for now um, I will create a fake frame here uh, but because the single bed um, 
compared to double bed has only one texture so i really want to save some space for the bedding because this is what important most so i won't make like um a frame that is big like that because it will take too much space on my uv map so i will just make like a effect one and by the way i will put it back on the center because it was just to showing you guys that it was only one pile so let's start with doing the frame under the mattress so i will create a cube and deform it to fit my new shape because as uh, we said before we uh, may make it wider because the original EA bait is very narrow it's weird so we make it larger to to be like you know makes more sense like this and thank you for the follow Spi Akana it's very kind and going to look and finish off my dinner enjoy your stream thank you so much and and bon appetit as we say in my country um so this yeah yes bon appetit <laughs> so before doing some pivot always apply rotate and rotate and scale but actually i just want this frame i don't want the other one here and now it's like this i also want to save some polygon uh, from the bed because i always like to have many polygon on my bedding so it's very smooth so whatever i can save in here is always welcome and mm, and i will use the inset inset faces like this and then i remove the faces and then i join again by using my uh, plugin loop tools and bridge so if I hide, you can see that I have a very simple frame for my bedding. Like this. Easy peasy. And I need to add an edge split modifier. Like this. That's interesting. I've never seen someone make a bed for The Sims yet. So this is a new experience for me. Well, new experience every day. It's exciting. Um, I once made Sims for hair. Like it was flying. Yeah, I think a hair. I, I've um, heard that it was very, very difficult to make hair. So I'm going to place my... Um, my sim already because then then it's done and i don't have to go back to it and let's see what else so now we now we are going to do uh this and uh, thank you for the follow hate name uh we are going to do this and we are lucky because probably this part is exactly the same as this part except this one is shorter so we are first going to make the main frame so for that, I'm going to use, obviously, uh, no, not a plane, a uh, slender. And same, because I'm, I'm always trying to do efficient uh, item. I'm going to use as uh, minimum um, polygon as possible. So let's try a eight. You know, it won't be as smooth as a certain creator. Uh, I sometimes using, but at least it won't slow down your computer. Kind of like that, I think, in terms of proportion. Proportions of what, what I'm creating is always kind of difficult because I don't want it to be too 
thin because then it will look very realistic. Um, hi, thank you for the follow, Steph. Please. Uh, I don't want it to be to do to be um, too unrealistic because then you feel like you can break it and it's it's just um, like a metal frame, a metal a metal string. But then too big and then it looks too uh, you know EA style style and too bulky. Hello dear, I'm a huge fan of your work and just caught your live love from Canada. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you for liking my content. It's very nice. Um, anyway, so not that way. Uh, for now, I'm going to do the left part and then I'm going to mirror it on the right so I don't have to do the step twice. So to do that, I'm going to first extend this until the end, like here. How are you, by the way? I'm really good. Thank you so much for asking. And how are you yourself? Have you ever tried to add the image you're using for Inspo to the Blender program so you don't have to go back and forth? Or is it that you find with used to it? I've seen another creator add the image in Blender, so I'm just curious. I'm doing it when the image is uh, very flat and I can actually use it directly for proportions. But having it in the background, I find it a bit disruptive. So I used to do it and, and I stopped doing it. I prefer actually using my mind to create the object how I want and when I need to check I actually check and I also make a pose because sometimes it's nice to you know take off your eyes on your model and then go back to it and then you kind of see what's wrong with it right away so I think I prefer that way I'm good I love your hair by the way thank you so much and hi, Mitch Michi. Um, yes, my hair is um, is new. I'm, I'm still not completely used to it. So there, I put my uh, pivot point where I want to be the center of my curve, and I change my pivot point here to 3D cursor, and then I just extrude and rotate and extrude and rotate and extrude and rotate because then I will have a perfect curve and that's much better oops much better than using the bevel one like this so I went a little bit too far so I'm just moving it back to it like this And same here, like this. All right. And so this I will remove because I will then uh, mirror it on the other side. OMG, it really looks good crying inside. It's not, it's not finished yet. It looks like a prison, prison ba bed for now. Just wait. Just wait. So then we will probably have some some bar uh, like um, horizontal bar here, and then we will have this smaller bar here with uh, bigger stuff in here. So this we will include directly on our um, model. And I just came from watching a bit from Ab by Apricot. Abricot. Abricot. She uses a lot of your CC and therefore her boots are always so pretty. Thank you. You make such amazing content. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, you're very welcome and thank you so much for telling me that. It does look like a private bed now. It's, it's, uh, okay. Now that I made it um, higher, maybe not, but before, yes. So I'm going to add a ring here. No, not here. Here. 
So that will be where there will be this kind of ring here. And same in the middle here and the other one is more at the end of it. Yeah, at the end of it. That would be here. All right. So now I'm going to add, first I'm going to put back my central a cylinder, but because it's for a thinner bar, I don't need eight. I will put six, six will be enough. Like this. Oops, what happened? Not what I wanted. So here I don't need those faces because they will be inside of it. So I'm just removing them because I will save more polygon again. Because there are actually a lot of polygon in cylinder. Everything that is round costs more. Always. So this one is probably round, just under the frame. Just under the frame. Like here. Uh, it's and I'm going to remove the pivot points and put it on median points. So when I'm resizing, it just resize on itself. Like this. S Y no S X yes I always mistaken my um, axis all the time. How did you change the cylinder amount of face so quickly? What's the shortcut? So when you create a cylinder, it's a uh, Shift A here, and on the left you have some settings that you can change before playing. As soon as you start moving the cylinder, then it's done. You can't change it anymore. See? So you have to decide right away before going any further or else you won't be able to um, change whatever it is. So you can change the number of vertices here, but you can also change the radius or the depth of it. So this is kind of useful because you can always put it later. And you can also change the, the cap here if you want like triangle, if you want to and sometimes instead of filling it by by hand but also I don't really recommend as well because as you can see he's using three trees to do that while you could you know use just one like this so it's better to do by hand some stuff are better to do by hand always finally catching you live from Tokyo hi little who this is really exciting to see uh, thank you so much. Ha what time is it in Tokyo? Yokoso. Uh, that's not how you, you pay attention to the polygon. Some creators don't mind a lot and don't pay attention to that too much. I do love when things look as perfect as possible. But when you learn how many polys there are, for even the smaller measure, it makes me sweat. Not really, but you know. Yeah, me too. Definitely. Definitely. And I used to do the same. And then I trained my mind. Because it's definitely not worth it. Some item is worth it, but even if, even when it's worth it, it's not really worth it. Like, I I know sometimes I see some alpha creators release some blankets and it has a lot of wrinkles. But you know, when you actually play, you kind of forgot those wrinkles. So I think it's more efficient, and I actually like uh, that my CC are more accessible to everyone because you don't need a NASA computer to play with mine
All right. Um, so now we are going to add the little cylinder. So I'm just going to uh, copy those one because I'm super lazy. Yeah, it's nice when meshes are as few as possible where the polygon is low as possible as well. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes definitely not worth it. Like I've saw sometimes like a cotton branch, like, you know, like a branch, a, a cluttered branch with a cotton flower on it. Just one branch and it was 30,000. I was like, what? So sometimes it's like, okay, you just very, 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 very lazy or you just don't care. It's probably both. Or converted item could be. Um, so, a nightmare sounds like a confession, probably. Probably it is. Or it could be some students, you know, do, who never learn how to do high poly and they, uh, they just know only uh, low poly, uh, high poly, could be as well. They have no idea how to make low poly. That could be, that could be the reason. So sometimes I use um, CG Trader to buy some model to add to my set, especially when uh, the realistic of um, my model is not something I can achieve. For example, when I'm doing like shoes and I really want like um, uh, some high quality shoes, like you can see on my um, Arno, Arno set, the shoes in there are converted. So I always, you can toggle in CG Trader a low, low poly um, checkbox so you only have like low poly model uh, so that are good for for 3d gaming and sometimes you have results in low poly that are like 300,000 polygon I'm like no guy this is not no poly so maybe guys you know they are used to have like four millions polygon because they are doing like render scenes so they think this is low poly but it's not it's definitely not Uh, I get why people could get lazy. It's not that easy to make. So yeah, and you know, if if it works for them, maybe it works for people. And I don't mind uh, for them to do that. The only thing that bothers me is usually they don't say it's high poly. So people who doesn't know how it works, they would just download it and probably have trouble make it works. And the computer will slow down, and they won't understand why. I believe I know. The creator with that branch and they take measures from anywhere and barely modify it for the sims like you said it depends on the item but high poly uh, clutter rapidly add up death yeah, definitely sometimes you have books that are like thousands of polygons when books can be like kind of very very low i think it has also something to do with this creator probably also not knowing the right way poly to low poly workflow definitely that's why i said um before like maybe some of them they, they know actually how to mesh but they match for rendering stuff they don't mesh for video game which is very different process very different there's um a lot of um, meshes in uh, cg trader that uh, i can't really use because they are not made for for low poly um, stuff and if you actually uh, try to convert them it will make more time to reduce the polygon to fit the requirement of the game to make them from scratch and when i buy um, when i buy some model to um to convert it's uh, either because i don't know how to do it like like shoes because they are too complicated or because i want them too realistic or either because i want to earn time so if i spend like half a day just to reduce the polygon day it doesn't make sense it just just do it by myself okay i'm just making a small pause don't don't leave at coming back in two minutes
はい。そう。I'm just kissing good night,、uh, my boyfriend. You were quiet. You didn't say anything when I was away.、Um, so there we go. And So, we don't really care、um, if it doesn't fit here because, as you can see in our image, we will have some kind of knot here. So, that will hide everything. So, we don't need to actually try to recreate how it's supposed to be because、uh, adding a knot around it will be easier, faster. And as I'm always saying, works. Work、uh, smart, not hard. Yep. And full of waste. Wasteness. I'll say. Wisdom. And full of wisdom.、Um, I totally get what you mean by, by time, because we all understand that you have a boyfriend and he needs attention too. Oh, definitely. I, I'm always wondering if it's the cat or the boyfriend who's asking for more attention.、Mm. Who knows? <laughs> when you can exactly <laughs> you you guessed、uh, where do you buy meshes c g trader said i missed that one yes said cg cg trader um i like this one because uh all the filter you can use and also um the creators they can uh put uh, with um which how it's called um Like, which term of use they are、uh, selling you the meshes for. So, it usually says、uh, right away if you can use it for the video game or advertising or anything. So, you don't have to contact the creator you know, to ask if it's okay to use it for The Sims. And also,、uh, because you can,、um, you can see directly, oh, ev everything works better. Like, I used to.、Um, Watch because I don't think I ever bought anything on Turbo Squid, but I find it the filter research and everything is it's not really working, and the the previews are not really good as well. So you don't really see what you're buying, but can be the same sometimes on CG Trader.、Um, som sometimes you don't really see what you buy, and Uh, now I, I contact the creator and I ask for more if I need more. At session, if you haven't. Oh, I will. I will. Well, I, don't, I don't use it a lot,、uh, buying、uh, stuff, but I use it sometimes, especially to earn some time when I want to produce、um, uh, more CC for you guys. So. Here, I'm going to add the rings we talked about.、Um, add this. I won't use too much polygon in here, and I will need to sharp those because if I don't sharp them and I click smooth, it will just be just lumpy everywhere. So I want to sharp this and sharp that like this, right? And then I will just Duplicate this and make it a bit smaller so I can use it here.
Ooh. <laughs> I bought a low poly pack armchair bow squid and was okay, but the low poly filter works pretty badly generally at check CG. Yeah. Well, sometimes on CG it doesn't work as well. As I said, there the people posting it uh, choose when they apply uh, the low poly model. And sometimes they say low poly when it's not low poly. And sometimes they also confound trees and polygon. So sometimes they will say this is only 5,000 uh, polygon. And actually it's 5,000 uh, trees. No, it's the opposite. It's 5,000 quad, which means it's 10,000 um, polygon. So it's twice what you thought you were buying, which is worse. Have you had Filipino food? I don't think I had. I don't think I had. How is it? Filipino food. Is it, is it based on fried rice or maybe seafood? I have no idea. I've never, I, I never tried Filipino food, I think. So I'm going to remove the shark from this. Because I probably look better all round and smaller as well. Yep. So now we are, or maybe I will add a ring here as well. Makes sense. Filipino food is amazing. What is it, guys? Okay, I'm going to Google it. Filipino food. <gasps> okay, so that's why I was kind of imagining a like kind of fried rice and fried fried stuff. See, it looks like. Do you use spices? Is it kind of like um, kind of like um, uh, uh, South Asia food? Kind of like a Cambodia, Thai, and that kind of food. But well, I wanted to ask this to CC creator. Does it actually pay off? Because I understand the time you spend in the CC. Do you mean like, can I actually make it my 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 job? Like, is it is it was? It well, uh, in my case, I can't talk for everyone, but in my case, it does. Uh, it was not always the case, and I think for me. Um, it was the right time because of the pandemic because when I started making CC it was because uh, the pandemic like I was uh, bored so I start uh, playing Sims again I think I didn't touch the game uh, since um, 2014 when it was out and then I started using CC and then I started creating my own because I couldn't find what I wanted and at that time i had no idea you could actually make money from it so i, I start uh, creating cc and i think like uh, a few months later some people say you should share it um, on tsr and on, on i think i started sharing it on tsr and then people uh, suggested that I was going to make a Tumblr and everything. And I think six months later, they said, oh, you should make a, pa a Patreon. So I opened the Patreon and I think my first month was kind of uh, prolific. And I think I earned 
I, um, uh, maybe 200 euro and I was like oh that's amazing because you know I'm paying for a lot of my um, uh, software licenses so Photoshop uh, Blender is free but Substance Painter is paid content and sometimes I pay for uh, texture and everything so I said that, that that's that's cool because then I can actually use the money to you know buy the, li the licenses and, and Marvelous Designers also uh, paid program and then it went up and up and up and and then it was time for me to actually declare it to my country because um, we don't allowed obviously to earn money if you don't declare it but it was also nice because even if it was uh, not paying off at first hi and thank you for the follow resurrections um, I had no income anywhere because uh, of the pandemic I was working as an art director and because my work was depending on um, shootings um, I, I had no job anywhere but the French government was giving me money because I'm um, in an uh, independent sta status so I was I was having money anywhere from the government so I, I was not taking any risk at all of, of trying to start that and then my job restart again and I was not very happy about it I think I've been doing this for almost 12 years now and I hate working for advertising hi Sidian thank you for joining in uh, I always hated working for advertising I remember when I was a student I always said like I would never work for advertising but then you do because you know you need to pay rent uh, so it was a very, very uh, nice alternative to be able to do something else um, than advertising. And I, th I think, so I think I started creating in April and from this January, I kind of um, reached the amount where it was sustainable. So obviously when I was working in advertising, I was making a lot of money, but I really don't care at all about the money and I was not happy about my job and now I'm very out so now it does pay off so it took some times and obviously if it was not during the if it was not during the pandemic I would not be able to go as fast because I would not be I would not be able to spend that much time in CC creation like the fact that I was, uh, I had almost um, three months without any job at all where I could um, make my CC making better, definitely play a role in how fast I reach the sustainability uh, level. But now I'm really grateful uh, that I could do that because for nothing in the world, I want to go back to advertising. That's great. You're happy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, the fact that um, I'm, I'm creating exactly what I want and you guys everywhere are so nice to me. And I also feel that what I create is kind of, mo it's, it's silly because it's sim stuff, but I feel it's more useful than actually creating, you know, advertisement when it's, 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 I, it's more silly than, you know, and sometimes when I explain my job to new people, old people especially, they don't understand why people would spend money on Sims. And for them, it sounds silly, but advertising is worth, I think. Uh, J'ai une question par rapport à déclarer, c'est à partir d'un certain montant et c'est obligé de monter une entreprise. So this is a French question about... Um, how to handle companies in France. So let me know if you understand my, my answer in, in English. And if not, I will uh, repeat it in French. So officially, you're supposed to declare whatever your revenue you earn uh, starting one euro. So even if you consider that it's a very, very small amount, you're supposed to declare it right away. That being said, uh, the fisc won't go to you 
if you're making a few hundred euro and you're not decreeing it like a few hundred euro is nothing and you are very small fish to them and you won't get trouble because you earning a few euro on your own my decision before i was actually um, making my living from it was i would keep everything on my paypal paypal and never put it in my uh, personal account and then they can't trace it so if you spend everything from your paypal paypal then you kind of clear but if you're starting to make more than you can actually spend then that was the problem for me because uh, the first month uh, i said i was doing like 200 euros so that's kind of easy to spend because you can you know buy the license of your software you can go shopping with it and buy gifts but when it starts piling up then you know it, you kind of you can't pay rent with paypal and you can't uh, buy grocery with paypal so there there, there had been a moment uh, where you kind of okay if i want this to be my living i need to de declare it also don't underestimate the fact that um, in France, what you declare will come back later in your retreat, retreat, retirement. So even if you think that you're actually making more money because you don't declare anything and you don't pay taxes, uh, this money is supposed to going back theor 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 <laughs> okay, I'm really bad with the pronunciation of this word. I need to see it written. Theorac. Damn it. <laughs> Help. Re I don't remember the words. Sorry. Theo theoretically, yeah, theoretically, theoretically. Um, so yeah, and yes, you do need to have a, a company. So um, um, in France, we have the auto entrepreneur, which is a very uh, easy to easy access uh, status to get, but. Uh, as a art director, I, o I already had um, a company. Uh, I already have a company on my name, so for me it was no change. My my accountant was a bit um, surprised by my activity, and I also had to call people because I have a um, special taxes uh, because I was working as an art director, so it's kind of um, close to artists. But it works. They consider that I'm doing. Uh, digital sculpting that's kind of true so I can keep the the taxes the artist taxes instead of uh, normal taxes that's less than normal taxes theoretically okay I need to remember it All right, we're almost done. Usually I'm faster than that, but because I'm talking too much, <laughs> I'm kind of slow, sorry. Okay, okay, I do understand. It's just I'm trying to make my senses slide. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, de rien. <laughs> All good. All right, so we're finally done with the frame. It's been an hour already. Um, I'm just going to unwrap to see if everything is fine. And everything is fine. Just this. This is weird. I probably forgot something. Where is it? 
Mm, it's here. So all those uh, cylinder looks pretty straight. So that's fine. That's what I want. They're very straight. That's good. Um, okay. Chatting is good. Yeah, it's kind of the point of the live stream. Like um, uh, at first I was like, oh, I should focus on stuff like that. But most of you are not really here. Not all of you. Like some of you are interested about me doing it. But it's also, you know, the mood and sharing and, and talking about CC, but not only creation, it's also what is life uh, being a CC creator, kind of. So I'm going to save because I think I didn't save for a long time and you know, I don't like to leave dangerously. Drink is also important. So now, we are going to make the bedding, which is the most difficult part of the live stream and, and of the CC making, I think. So first, I'm going to move it a little. So first, I'm going to recreate the mattress uh, because this one I uh, decided to not keeping it so they cheat it because we can't see the bottom of it so i probably do the same but still this one is not pretty so i'm just going to select it remove the bedding and see what i can do to make it better so what i'm going to do is because i'm going to use a marvelous designer to make the blanking the blanket and bedding I'm going to make it full so I have actually a surface on to make the bedding. But then I'm going to cut it and, and cut it. So. I'm going to put it in a separate so I can hide it. I'm going to create a cube. Because everything in life is a cube. When you start doing 3D model, you actually understand that everything is life in life is a cube. Here. I can hide don't need it anymore and then I will select only the size of it like this right and thank you for the subscribe um, Omar Rivas. I should maybe put different song from when it's from YouTube and when it's from Twitch. I kind of never know. I, I need to learn how to use this tool. I, I have no idea. I just discovered Twitch. I think I, I had no idea of, of Twitch two, two months ago. It's a bit confusing. No, the bedding is the hard part. Everything I have just watched as me going, I could never. Actually, I'm pretty sure you could. It's really just learning the rope and, and then and then you are about to do it. But when I see uh, what I was creating when I started and where I am now, like sometimes, last time there was this um, simmer that asked me if he could recolor one of my stuff and 
I tried to export something and when I reopened my file it was from one year ago and I was like what did I do and it was like okay let me redo the object because this one is just just no nope so you just learn uh, you just need some patience I guess because uh, the the learning curve is a bit steep especially at the beginning but then then it's just learning and learning and 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 I still learned new stuff uh, today so okay so the bed is ready I'm just going to I don't like how this is going so I put oops not H faces so and gone are bad for shading so now I'm going to export this in OBG so I can import it in Marvelous Designer so export OBG selection only and not wrap material. So one thing about um, uh, custom bedding is I won't be able to change a lot the pillows because even if it's very nice when we have a lot of pillows like this, if we have too much pillows, then the animation of the seams will be very weird. So I still kind of have to keep the pillows kind of similar to what it's supposed to be. Example, um, when I made my bed from my latest one, I think it was, is it Charles? Yeah, that one. I think that's the best I could do. So I still made two beds, but when the kid is sleeping, there is like half of the head that's inside the pillow. So that's fine. So basically I kind of cheated because I used the fact that he's putting his head here so I could put this one here, but his shoulder is kind of inside the pillow. But th I thought that's, that's fine, that's all right. I think it's amazing you have the motivation to do that though. You love what you're doing and enjoy learning. I've said I couldn't do more than half of what most creators do because I just don't have the motivation. I did, if I did make anything in Blender, making sure it works in the sim would just throw me off. I <laughs> love that bad. Thank you. Well, yes, I guess, I guess you still need to love to create. And I love to create, like even if it's not the same, I, I do a lot of uh, creation outside. I paint, I sew, I, I um, make broidery and everything. So I like to create stuff. And also you have to be stubborn because uh, there are many times where the thing you are going to spend time won't work. So you have to be persistent and resilient when it it's not working you have to uh, you know be patient keep calm try again uh, ask people for help as well uh, but that could be a, a good thing as well because I met some very nice people because I, I went uh, to ask some help, help outside when I was completely stuck I I really don't like asking help uh, to people so usually I try finding the answer on my own I'm, I'm going on forum and everything and if really, really I'm stuck and I can't find the answer, I tried everything on Google, I tried everything on the forum, on Teams for Studio and everything, then I go ask people. So I will import my pro avatar and I will import um, my bed. So here my bed. So basically, I still want to try to make uh, some original uh, pillows, kind of like I did here. So I will make an, a normal one here and maybe a small one here. Uh, I need to close this because this is taking up some space. So maybe. Maybe. I, I'll try. So let's let's make a small one first, a, a flat small one, a rectangular one. 
like this. Oops. And yes, I do love learning. I, li I always like to learn new stuff. I learn languages, I learn new skills, I learn, I, I, let, I really need to learn new stuff all the time or I get bored. So that will be kind of the end of the pillow, I think. I don't know how to call it in English, but in French we call it traversin. It's kind of something you can put under your real pillow. And then, so this one I will freeze it so it doesn't move anymore. Then I will create the real pillow. So that will be smaller, something like this probably. Looks like a body pillow and I love those. I think that's a body pillow. This is a bolster. Does it make sense for you? Bolster? I'm sewing uh, each each edge together. Then I'm using the remesh so it doesn't have triangle but uh, quad. So then I can reduce and control the polygon on Blender more easily after. And I make it smaller so I have more details. And I'm adding some pressure to add some air, but I also need to add some density on my. Um, my fabric so it's more heavy because if I left it that way and I put enter the pillow will just fly away and you don't want that you want the density to be higher than that there oops go back go back like this and then you just move it where you want Want to become famous by followers and oh shit. I thought I don't need any moderator because I don't have any things so I think I need a moderator in fact how do I remove this I think I need to go on my twitch page I'm seeing myself, that's weird. Oh, I 
have no idea. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, I'm leaving it for now, but I'm, I'm going. I need to take some courses about how to do moderation stuff. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I wouldn't know, hopefully. You can ask a friend or someone you know to get more for you later. Yeah. I think I could, can probably do it myself. It's not as if I had like a lot of viewers anyway. I just need to learn how to do it because I have no idea where are the two. Um, okay, I think my problem here is it's probably too much friction. And the pressure is different from both, both sides. Yes, Inception, that's weird kind of the mirror effect uh, how do I reduce the um, is it here yes probably here can I do that yeah that's better yep <laughs> Oh, come on, make an effort. Uh. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's freeze. Freeze, motherfucker. Yes, not moving anymore. All right, so. I'm going to leave it that way for now and I'm going to the, bed the bedding and I don't think I'm going to add some more I think that's fine like this maybe it can be bigger we we'll see bye <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to make uh, the bed. So, um, I feel like I, I can make it bigger. When I see the space it takes in here, it takes a lot of space. Or maybe I add a third one. I don't know. Should I? Let's try. So manipulating in Marvelous Designer is uh, sometimes a bit tricky, but it's getting there. I'm going to put a little more pressure on this one. try that like this freeze now the bidding um so here we are again I'll probably put something like this and let's see if it's the right size here so it's a bit too long so same here uh if i want to keep the animation working and you know it we uh, the sim will catch the um, the end of the cover and then we put it on him. I need I can't really uh, like make a messy bed, for example, because then it won't be uh, covered, and I can't go above where the the pillow are. So I'm just going kind of like this. I won't do this flip because this is how my grandmother do did, you know, when we didn't have any kilt and we had the actual and the blanket and the blanket over it so i won't do that but i will put a, 
a kilt to go until the um, pillows, I think. Uh, so I'm going to turn on remesh like this. And I'm going to do the end of it. Like this. Move vertically, yes. like this and sewing the edges like this one Right, then I need the same as my pillows to put some some pressure on it, just a little bit, and go like this. So I can see now that no, I think it's the right size. So I can always put start again and put it up, so you know I can create more wrinkle and it's something that will be more lively i also need to be more larger i think even more than that and maybe a bit more, more longer so we can have more wrinkle okay it's in trouble it's trap so i'm just putting it above it again and <coughs> like this like a crepe like a potato ah, so sometimes it will get stuck like this you just pull it up above it all right so this is supposed to be kind of very design room so i don't want too much messy and too much wrinkle so i obviously want it or else i would have done this in blender and not in marvelous designer but still this is someone who you know kind of clean his room down like this come on poking out please poke out please come in euh, je ne fais que passer, mais waouh, c'est presque magique, comme ça prend vite d'un coup, c'est impressionnant. J'ai fait de la redécoration avec ta magnifique derrière salle de bain d'ailleurs. Merci pour ton travail, c'est un plaisir de jouer avec tes CC. Thank you, Fanny. So much, Dreamy Scrappy. So, scr Dreamy Scrappy says, it's just passing by. And it's very... Why my camera is... Okay. And um, it's very impressive uh, how my object uh, suddenly uh, bring to life. And he thanks me, he, he she, they thanks me to um, the last bathroom. I think you're talking about the Sabine bathroom I posted on TSR. Because they redecorate uh, lately and they really enjoy using my CC. Thank you so much for passing by and thank you so much for your very, very nice comment. It's always very um, encouraging when people are liking and playing with my CC. Really like the fact that people are playing with my stuff. Right, I think I'm happy with this.
okay this is this is um if you're perfectionist it's kind of annoying because it's kind of never ending poking around until you satisfy with the result because you're never satisfied there's always one wrinkle that's not exactly how you how you want all right last thing is i want to add a little blanket over it uh, kind of like um, I think I closed the page but kind of like my shawl set so uh, the shawl set has a straw blanket on it and I I think I succeeded in integrating it directly on it so I really want to try that because I really like straw blankets so let's try this so I'm going to create one more with remesh on and this one, so first I will freeze this so it doesn't move. I think I need to look how I did because I probably make it very simple on purpose um, because if it's too complicated it will just um, don't understand why it, what is up and down so let's look let's look yeah it's not that simple I'm so proud. All right. So I'm going to add more polygon, then I will reduce it later. But if if we have more polygon then the wrinkles are more realistic and I also want to try to keep my wrinkles along the mesh so it doesn't create those very weird twists it's when it's not and also avoid having to see the back of it because then it's very dark uh, so it's better when it, this is covered so I just cover it I don't I don't like this I don't like when it does this it's kind of a tornado kind of shape because then when I reduce polygon it's just weird so I need to remove that I actually rather when it's clean shape following one edges like this see this is not nice <laughs> It's kind of insane that you can just casually do a ferric simulation to make a blanket look for it correctly, it, right? Um, when I started making CC, I was trying to do this in Blender and I was so much difficulty and I was seeing those beautiful blankets everywhere and I had no idea Marvelous Designer existed. So I checked on YouTube and I found some uh, Blender tutorial about physics simulation of fabric, which is kind of amazing, but still not as amazing as Marvelous Designer. And Marvelous Designer used as a tool to actually sew is also amazing because I told you guys that I'm sewing and I used to buy some pattern and everything. And since you can do that, like you can actually draw some patterns and then you have your avatar here and you can put your clothes on it 
I actually improved so much in what I could actually make because this tool is amazing. It's really powerful. It's just amazing. I see someone use this for clothes and it's amazing how you can post stuff. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Actually, let me show you guys. So usually I'm doing role playing game. So So let me show you like pictures from something I made. So this is one one costume that I made for um, so what we call it lap, which is live action role playing game. So I use a three D printer to put some stuff, and then there's a lot of sewing, and this is um, an old leather jacket where I uh, cut some leather in it, and I just redid everything, and complete different style. I have this amazing dress I made, uh, but this I use a pattern that I bought. And I was kind of stuck because there is not a lot of historical pattern on the market. And I'm really bad at doing my own pattern since, you know, I have no idea how I can like put the shape on 2D and have the result in 3D. And since I learned Marvelous Designer, I actually made my own. So I found some inspiration. I wanted to do something like this for Warhammer um, lap. So I wanted to do like a sleeve like this and then I could make it in Marvelous Designer. This is the design. It's lapping in English. Oh, in French is different. It's genius. In, in French is Grandeur Nature, which means uh, real life size, I think, the tradition, translation. So I was able to do um, the pattern on marvelous designer so i had the exact uh, length of everything and i could see directly how it fits uh, which it's not possible without you know actually sewing so then i was able to where's the final picture i don't have it it's on my facebook page I was able to do it for real. We don't really see the details, but it was all thanks to Marvelous Designer. So I could make such more, um, more progress uh, with this tool, which is really an amazing tool. It's very powerful. So now that I'm, I'm happy with the shape of it, I think I'm probably make it shorter. I don't like that it's on the floor. just make things complicated I don't want to see the back of it. Yes. That's fine, I think. Like this. I also did it as a kid. Really? As a kid? Because it's an activity that didn't really exist um, some time ago. Alright. So I think we're done. So now I can put back some polygon. Maybe too much.
night. With a bad eye infection and had blue was strapped on my face and it looked like whiskers. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, expectation vs reality where you think you're as badass as Braveheart, but you actually, you know, just look like a good kitten. Yeah, totally relate that. Um, okay, time to export. So I will save it in case we need to go back to it. Um, this was actually pretty fast. We are 1 hour and 30 minutes from the beginning. So I'm going to export it and that will be called bedding. We still need to do the texture after that, but so yes, as you can see, beds are really complicated to make. That's why there are very few of them. Okay, so bring back the bedding. So I'm going to import OBG. No, didn't I export in OBG? Or maybe I didn't put it in the right. Oh. There, so the size is completely messed up, but that's fine. We're going to put it back. Right. So now we are going to move some stuff because I don't like that the pillow is poking around here. So I'm going to move that. So with the proportional editing, I'm going to move it a bit like this. And everything else is fine. So now we are going to prepare the mesh before um, uh, transferring the weight. We have two things to do. Um, I will head type it. Why that? Because it's messy? Why do you hide my bed? Oh, please don't tell me you hide my bed. Oh, because it's too small? Like era, 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 like looks great for a game. But why do why do you hate it? It's probably because it's made of iron. I'm also more of a wood bed person because the headboard has holes in it, pillows bound to fall out. Yes, definitely. I actually have a very similar bed when I was smaller, uh, with uh, you know like vertical bars like this, and I hate it because I'm a heavy re reader, and when you have something like that, you can't never, you can't really find a nice spot for your pillow, and your pillow just keep going into the hole. Um, okay, so I removed the mattress, but actually we can, we're we going to need it here because it was better when it was closing heat. So I'm going to keep it plain, I think. Yeah, I just removed the bottom. It's better like 
this makes more sense and we don't care if we don't see under it because no one no one is looking under it anyway i agree with this point i would also prefer something else irl because i love beds that touch the ground i don't like having space under the beds yeah well i don't mind but it's kind of annoying to clean my bed uh, has drawer um, under it so i can put a lot of stuff so i like that i can have more storage space under my bed it's also very high which i like because when i get up in the morning and because i have very bad knees so the fact that it's very high i don't i don't have my, my knees in the morning um another thing we need to do is we also need to remove the end of the bedding because uh, first it will work better with the animation of the weight and also we will earn some space on on my um, uv space so first i'm going to order this So I need to know which one is top and which one is bottom. So this one is top. Sounds <laughs> like a plan. Yeah. That reminds me, I got a DI some board to my bed to enclose the end and this reduce skin in cube. Yeah, actually I have a headboard with some shelves on, on my nerves because I added a dresser, a huge one, and because it has doors now, I couldn't put some side table uh, from uh, each side of my bed. So instead I put a headboard with some shelving. So now I can put like uh, my cell phone and everything like behind me instead of on my sideboard. Right, this is the blanket and so now i'm just making sure everything is in order so you can see this is not the right direction and this is supposed to be on top but it's not so i'm just turning it around and this one is not on top as well At least lumber prices has gone down again, so it should be easy, is it? Because I feel like it's still very high. I have a day bed couch like bed that just has another twin bed under it. I like having less space under my bed. Yeah, I have this um, and my mother. But when I when I sleep in it, when I visit her, I, I just. I keep hurting myself because I'm not used to single bed anymore and this one is like framed so every time I move I just I just um, hit all the time uh, all around it um, so I need to keep some space because there will be the mattress and the frame so we are going to reduce it a little Um, so, we are going to remove some part of the bedding, but we still need to keep some of it because if I remove uh, like completely under it, like this, I will have some holes in it in here. So I need to keep at least like two row of it, like this. So then I will play Tetris later so I can put everything like this inside of it so, so I, I can save space. Alright, 
And last thing we need to do before applying the weight are removing a little bit of polygon because right now it's a bit too high. It's not too high, it's still fine. Like the rule I'm using, the rule TSI use and I'm using for myself is 200, 2000 polygon per tile. So a bed is three tile basically. It's two and a half think let's say three so it should be six thousand right now we are at 13 because it's a bed and because it has wrinkles and bedding and everything i usually allow myself more than that because first you won't have a hundred bed um, in your sims house usually you have like a maximum three four bedrooms five bedrooms and Secondly, because it's a big item, so it's really worth it, like instead of a small clutter item. But it's still a little bit too much, so I will still try to uh, reduce what is not utterly necessary. For example, those pillows are probably a bit too much. So pr this is not necessary and I will just reduce rendering from all of it like this and this one as well remove the surface below the feet gonna save a couple below the feet oh yeah this one yes This, the end I like to keep because I want to keep the detail of uh, the end of the the pillow. And yes, you're right. We are going to remove that one. Also easier. It won't save a lot, but it's still this. So let's say we have 2005. Yes, almost nothing. But hey, who's counting? I do. But, hmm. um, okay, more more from the pillow probably. We are 2,000, so I probably can earn more on the pillow, like this is, this is twice what we need, so I want to keep those. You also have to be careful not to change the UV map. Yes, you are counting, okay. Yes, boss. So remember that if you are delaying the um, outer seam of your mesh for example it will completely mess up your uv map so you have to be careful with one you are editing if you have watched my uh, tutorial about um, reducing polycon it's all explained it in detail what to do and what not to do to do to avoid destroying your mesh because sometimes you just spend so much time Removing one and single one. I'm actually probably going to keep that one because it has details in it. So you spend time selecting everything and then you reduce and then like, you're like, oh crap, it doesn't work. So you know, better know what you're doing to do it properly. This, bye bye. And this one as well. So. I, it's not always working, but sometimes I use the tree to quad and this one is not working. So I tried it's to remove all the small one here because it's kind of use it's kind of useless, but whatever. So I'm going to select all these. one I don't need because it's hidden and I think I only select it on one way So 
we are now at 10,000, which is much better. We can probably reduce here on the blanket because you can see here that uh, this is probably very straight. So same, I'm going to keep the one that actually I have some details of the wrinkle in it, like this one and probably this one as well because it has the edge of the fold. Uh, this one doesn't have many information, so I'm going to remove this one as well. This one I'm going to keep and then I'm going to reduce a lot of them. And same at the end. Here. So it changes a little bit here, so with the connected uh, editor, um, editor proportion here. I'm going to raise it a little so I'm sure it doesn't box through box through. Alright, and same I'm going to do it in here. So here I have more possibility to remove because I don't have much details. This I will keep a little. Maybe not, because it will flatten it. So that will be better if it's more flattened. Alright. And now I'm going to raise it a little, so same, I'm sure it's poking around, it's not poking around the, the cover. Okay, so we are 9000, I think it's fine. For, for a bed like that, it's fine. I can probably remove from some of the blanket, but because I want it to be very smooth with the animation, it's better not to remove too much. So I prefer to keep it that way lesson learned from before so now we are going to merge everything and i'm going to finish my uv map so i'm going to let's say uh, hide this for now let's unwrap this so I'm keeping the mattress here and I'm going to cut it here so I can have straight bend like this. So now I can unwrap my mattress. I don't need to be very big because I will probably um, make it a plain color. And So now we are playing Tetris. So basically why I'm doing that is usually when I have those kind of shape, I use control P and it will reorganize everything on my UV space, but he's not able to fill the hole. So if I do that, then it won't be able to fill the hole. And as I see, it's kind of messing my pillows as well. So I will have to do it manually. That's fine. I have time. And this is weird. It's not supposed to be like, oh, I know it's because I, I use something weird. Okay, let's find the culprit. So let's hide this and hide this. So when I wrap this, I use the conformal and actually I don't really like it. I prefer the angle based one because it makes more regular stuff i could also use my plugin that i really like which is the uv square which will straighten my island sometimes it doesn't really work very well sometimes it does but i need to remove that option yes as you can see this time it worked it worked so let's try on that one yes Okay, and this I don't need to straighten. All right. So now I'm going to put everything out of the way. So I can rearrange everything by hand because it's always better when it's you doing it. So I'm going to use the hole to put my mattress. 
actually I need to move everything around every um, together if I if I want to keep the proportion of the texture later I also need to remove the proportional editing okay and the side All right, then we have those that are kind of big. I can probably cheat because it's metal. It doesn't have any texture on it. It's like a if I would if I was doing this with a wood texture, it was kind of squeeze the wood texture. But because this is metal, it doesn't it's it's fine. So I can put everything uh, as I want. This I will put in here. I can actually make it fit directly like this. Same with that one. In here, and then we have this one. Right, and do one. As you can see, I'm really good at Tetris. I used to beat my brother when we were little and he was mad. He was so mad because, you know, with the Game Boy, I don't know if you guys remember the Game Boy era, you could keep the score, the highest score, and my name was on the top score, and he was mad. <laughs> you remember Game Boy? It's good, so I don't feel too old. All right, there we go for the texture. Save! This is very, very tying work. I'm going to drink. So now, how we would say in French, le clou du spectacle, which means the nail of the show. I don't know why. I don't know where that expression comes from. I don't know if you guys have the same in English best thing going maybe save two yes well blender is good with that because blender is always saving but yeah it's always good so now what we are going to do is we are going to transfer the weight of the bedding in our mesh so to be more efficient and to be sure that nothing um, goes drip um, how do we say when I would transfer the cover to the cover I don't want any of the weight going in the mattress or everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate everything together so everything that doesn't move that will be well that will go faster if I do that and control E so the frame and the mattress doesn't move so I'm separate separating it then we have the pillows and the cover so that is the cover and those are the pillows I'm going to hide it and I'm going to bring back this so we don't care about the frame but we do care about this so I'm doing the same separating the pillow so this is pillow EA 
and this is cover EA. Right now, I'm going to take my little notebook where I write everything so I'm sure I don't forget any step. Finger cross. So, if I remember well, I will first need to add more polygon in dues if I want it to transform better, transfer better the weight. So, I will add um, no, here. I will add a subdivision surface, but I don't want it to move. I just want to, well, like this. So if I click here, basically it will add more polygon, but it doesn't change the, cha the shape of it. So let me do it again. So as you can see, so right now it has a uh, hundred polygon. And if I go in weight mode, you can see uh, it has some weight in it in the middle. It's uh, basically where the Sims will have his head. And I will add a subdivision surface, but I need to click on simple because if I don't, it will modify the mesh and create holes. So I'm just going to simple like this and in Spanish la frutilla de la torta is the strawberry on the cake. Oh yeah, cherry on top. Actually, we do say the same in French, la cerise sur le gâteau. So it's another one. <laughs> I love expression. I have a book uh, from Japan that compares Japanese saying with uh, English and French. And I really love how sometimes the sayings are exactly the same, the same meaning, but the image and the, the, the characters or the animal they, they're saying is uh, very typical from the country. For example, um, I don't know how to say in English, but when when you are down and and you kind of are doomed to whatever end you uh, you are stuck in it, we say like a lamb for the um, the slaughterhouse. I think like a lamb, um, yeah, like a lamb in a slaughterhouse. And so I don't know if it has something different in English or not, but. In Japanese, it says like a fish, like a fish on a cutting board, and I feel like it's so fitting to Japanese that you know they are more on fish and we are more on lamb because we are uh, Catholic uh, issues. I ca we we come from Catholic uh, population mainly in Japan. You know they are uh, an island. Anyway, I like I like comparing things. Uh, so. I'm going to apply this and now you can see that we have more polygon. The, maybe I will have to do it again. And actually, to make sure uh, I have something I can go back to, I will save a copy. Just in case I have to go back. Because the, the goal is to have something similar something similar in here. Damn it. I have to here. So we need to have kind of the same uh, polygon here. I have um, a, lone, a lone mesh in here. It's not supposed to be here. Where do you come from? Where's your mummy? Right, so um, we need to have at least something more precise than the one. So we are going to try with one 
Uh, if it doesn't work, I will add more. Maybe I should add more uh, right away. I don't know. I have no idea. Like I said, I've I've done this maybe three times uh, in total, so I'm not really I'm not uh, very comfortable with it uh, yet. So let's try. Oh, two might be too much. Okay, let's try one for more. I'm going to apply, and then. If I really want to apply everything, I will also need to deform that one to fit my new one. So with the proportional editing, I'm going to deform it so it fits my new mesh. Um, maybe I should also remove the box. Remove the doubles doesn't really work well with my UV square, so I need to deactivate it just to remove it. Let's let's check the weight. Yes, I think that's fine. All right, so let's deform it now. So I have to make sure that everything will be um, everything will be um, kind of inside the box of the pillow, so everything will move accordingly. The more important part is this part because it's where the sim will put his head, and this this part is not that important. That's still important, but not not as important. So as you can see, there's nothing in here. But still, yeah. let's try this. Okay, almost there. Okay, so that's for the pillow. So now let's try. So what I need to do is click original first. So pillow EA, then click the new one. Then go in, where is it? Wait to that's here. No, that's not here. C 
seeing how much what it takes to make the bedding and the weight part, I think I'll stick to just making the frame and recoloring his bedding. Yeah, but to start with, it's probably better. When to start, if you if you want to be safe, um, then yes, it's better. And then when you're more comfortable with it and you really want to do something uh, different, then you can try my my way. Um, so I think you go. You need to go in weight mode. So click pillow first, then the new one. Then you will have um, transfer weight. And here you have to put uh, source L to by name and destination or layer. Then. You deserve an applause for all the work. Yeah, like the nurse during the pandemic, you know. No, I don't save life, so. But, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, what I did is basically copy all the mesh group from the mesh, uh, from the EA item to my item. So, if I click on the pillow squish, it will um, change. It will apply the weight of my um, of the base game pillow on my pillow. Last uh, step I need to do is to use the clean one here, and it's written subset all group. that should do the trick so we see now I'm going to do again the same with the cover so I'm keeping the EA cover and I'm going to deform it to fit um, my blankets so first I'm going to add more polygon to it Then I'm going to um, edit it to fit more my mesh. Oh, I need also to remove the balls. Even if it doesn't work, at least you see the process because then what we what will really change the result is how you uh, deform the mesh and and how you will um, add some more polygon to fit the new one. So even if uh, you won't see the result in real time, at least you see the process because this doesn't change. And actually. I made a speed machine video about one of my beds I was making. So it's it's kind of very fast, so you can't really see all the details, but it's exactly what I did. It's the same process.
I changed the music from my last live stream and I really like the new ones. They are more, I don't know, soothing, I think. Happy one. All right, so now we have the detail on top to finish. And then we will be able to try it and see how it goes. And hopefully it will work and hopefully we can finish the item during the stream or not. We'll see. Uh, I'm sorry, I hope it's not too boring. I'm so concerned. Concern focus? I think good focus is the right word. I'm so focused, I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to, to be interactive with you guys, but I'm also very focused on what I'm trying to do, and hopefully, I won't forget anything. And hopefully this will be enough because this this seems um, so here I will probably do the opposite which means um, this looks a bit a bit high so I'm going to reduce it to fit better because I'm, I'm scared that this will not be taken in consideration in, in my transfer weight
I can still remove the straw blanket if the straw blanket is a problem. Is a problem. In my first bed, it didn't work, so I I had one and I gave it up. And in the second one, was it? Yes, in the second one, I also tried it and it didn't work, so I just um, drew it on it and on the third one it works so let's see it's okay i have all the tabs to look at now and then it's not so boring and i like seeing the progress well that's good uh okay let's try like this and then we can still come back and fix it if it's not enough So let's try again. First, I will save copy just in case. I need to go back. So, wait mode. Yep. And cover EA, then cover new, then transfer weight, and by name, all layers. Okay, and then clean. That looks not bad. Maybe this will be a problem, actually. Uh, maybe not. That looks not bad. That looks really good. All right. Let's try it. So um, now we need to bring back everything together. So EA item is zero. So I need to remove from the EA. So I'm sure it won't be imported. Then I need to bring back, bring back cover, frame, and pillows together with object mode like this now I have everything I also need to uh, put uh, the frame and the mattress in my transform mode which I didn't do because they are the non-moving item so if I check my weight I can see that Everything that's not moving in red and, and what is moving is in blue and then everything is approximately moving as it's supposed to be, I think, hope so. And so this will be two and then I still have the two drop shadow and because I don't like drop shadows I'm just going to make them very very small as usual. So this I will remove with limited dissolve so it has a very limited amount. I will make it very very tiny and hide it under the mattress like this. And even this to be sure it doesn't show at all. I usually put it in that part of the UV map because this part of the UV map is just transparent. So in case we see it, in case I don't put it in the right way, if I do that, at least I'm sure I won't see it because in the drop shadow space, it doesn't have anything here. It's just transparent. Uh, same with this and instead of doing it again, I just delete and duplicate that one. So I'm saving and I'm replacing. Right, didn't go as planned. No, this is zero. Ah, uh -huh. damn it. Damn it, damn it. So it's a bit long because we have um, 
10,000 10, of uh, polygon? 8,000, 9,000. That's fine, 9,000. I'm very proud of myself. Um, and I'm going to change so I can find it quickly. And we are going to put a blank um, texture so I can see what I'm doing. So, so it won't be, tr oh, maybe it will because my texture has some transparency. So I just need, maybe I will use uh, this as plain color. Just a blue one, so I can see what I do. Okay, now I'm saving. And I also replace this, the normal map. I will make a blank one to make sure I really see what I'm doing. What if it has two speaker map? That's weird. Okay, let's check the shader. So we have 8 EC and ED6. I want to know why there is two of them. weird so bf is the specular we agreed on that yes and what is 8 ec doesn't make sense it's no use all right so it's just it's just it's probably a bug from since 40 it, it it was the same the same texture so just in case let's put the same speaker and i'm also going to remove those ugly occluder and that's fine okay let's save and let's try and let's cross fingers now So that's good news because we don't see a lot of things poking around. We do have a little bit here. So that's very good news. So let's let's put some light so we can see better what we're doing. So we can see right away that there are some stuff not working. Like the fact that I'm, I'm that I'm having one color is not helping. So there is a huge hole in here, so we can see the mattress through it. So that's not good. That's something we are going to need to fix. Uh, basically, everything seems to be working now except the middle. I think everything is collapsed in the middle. We are going to try to put some better texture on our next try to see better what is happening so we can see better exactly 
uh, what's wrong. So um, let's try and use the animation. So here everything works perfectly. Like all the top on the bedding is perfect. Or as perfect as it could be. So the pillow is nice as well. So the pillow we be we don't need to touch the pillow. So definitely what's not going uh, what's not working is what's happening in here. So we need to correct the weight on the middle of the blanket. But that's very good for a first try. And we it's not completely game breaking like uh, people probably won't complain about it since uh, it's better than not working bedding but we can also probably do better than that this is weird this is nice the fact that it's closing here because sometimes it's open it's not it's not nice to be the inside of it but this is not nice so I'm going to take notes so I don't forget so definitely the middle the pillow is perfect and the edge and everything else is working perfectly. On our next try we are going to attribute more color to the model so we can see exactly what we are seeing through because maybe some stuff are poking around with the blanket in here and we don't see it because it's one color but that's not bad for the first try. I'm going to try to fix it a little, but I don't, I don't, I won't uh, try to do it too perfectly because it's um, getting late for me. Um, but I just want you guys to show how with these results I'm going to fix some stuff. So first, I'm going to export some of the mesh to start applying some texture. So we have to imagine if I want to um, apply correctly the texture that if I export right away like this, when the seam will open the cover, we will have some shadow inside of it that coming from nowhere. So to avoid that, I'm going to separate everything. So I'm sure that the shadow are cast uh, where they should cast. So the blanket can stay on it because um, it won't change anything. The fact that uh, the, the blanket will never move, so that's fine. Uh, same with the frame and the mattress, uh, but some animation from Wicked Wim or some stuff will remove the um, pillows, so it's better if the pillows are not included as well. So basically, I'm separating to do three. three so when I will use the shadow on my mesh, it will not um, drip on everything else. I don't, I don't know if drip is the right word. But. So export OBG selection only and not right material. Hi Felipe, are you back? I think you were here before. And Control Z to put it back in some places. All right, so let's fix what we uh, did wrong. So the cover and the pillow works fine. Uh, so we are not no the pillow and the frame works fine. So we are not going to touch that. I still need to re-separate them. So I'm going to separate the frame and the pillows. So the pinos are not concerned about that. But if I bring back my cover, I think the problem was right here. So maybe maybe this was too far. Like this. Maybe I should make it closer.
something like that and the same we had some trouble in here so I will probably make something oops, better in here Okay. okay, so let's try again like this. So I'm going to remove all I did before and then go in. Oops, damn it. How do I bring it back? Here, yes. Um, weight mode, weight paint, and select cover EA and then the new one and then transfer weight. And that's supposed to be source L by name. Okay, it keeps what I did before, so that's fine. And then clean. Fine. Then I'm hiding this and bring back all my covers and rejoining everything. Hopefully now. It will work better. Let's hope. So I'm saving and replacing in here. And this time we are going to make a very quick uh, work of um, the texture just to see better. So it won't be the final texture. But at least we will see more of uh, what we tend to do. So I'm going to create a new one. Hopefully my CPU is done this time. Okay. So I'm going to pick my mesh map. Right, I'm going for now uh, to use a very, oh, it's, it's very basic um, metal texture. So let's let's put it in white and remove everything that it's not gold, like this. Oops, like this. And the fabric, I'm going to use very basic one as well. So I think I have, oh, I remove all of it, so I don't have any more. I don't have any fabric anymore because I remove all of it because it was eating up my CPU and all my memory. So let's import uh, from, I think I really like the canvas but this one can stay because I really use it all the time oops I think I did something wrong ah oh, damn it uh, I need to put not texture but base material So that will be for the mattress. 
with a blank uh, um, black mask and then I click with the white um, mesh selection so I can um, put it back I need to remove uh, to um, scale it down or we put it white and this and like this and this fine and for my pillows I will add some new one I got where is it I downloaded some new I need to try which one okay so these are new uh, fabric that I downloaded especially for this project I've never tried them so I don't know how they appear but they look fine no, not new So for now I will use the same for everything and then I will see later, like all not on stream, uh, which one I want to use. But at least I can see what I'm doing uh, here. And the nice thing about those is that uh, they have pattern. So if there is something wrong in the weight, I will see it right away. Especially that one. That one will be very useful. Um, to see if something wrong with my texture. All right, so the color are not really nice, but we don't care. It's just just to see what's wrong um, with our mesh. Okay, then let's maybe put something nicer like this. Okay, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go back to it later tomorrow, probably. But then I have something to work with. So I'm going to export with with 2D view and I'm going to change this to studio and export it. Okay. I also need to resize it because it's in 2K and it's not worth it. So back in 1K and I just replace it here in PNG here yeah so now we can see better what we're doing and if the if the blanket is poking inside the the, um, the quilt we will see it right away so let's save and let's try again It's really late for me. I usually am an early bird, so I usually asleep for like two hours now, but that's fine. I was actually thinking about doing another stream on another 
time zone. So maybe I can reach more people that uh, are not able to make it in this time. And then it's not that late for me all the time because my second slot for live stream is on Sunday night as well. And sometimes it finishes very late. So I should do, I think, um, a poll on my Patreon. But I don't know which, which hours to choose. And by the way, there won't be any stream this Sunday uh, because I have a meeting and I will be probably very tired. So, now we can see better. Yeah, we do a poll I think, with different hours. I do that. So we can see we still have a problem with the middle of it. It looks like something is definitely going through uh yeah that's weird so still something wrong with this so now let's try the animation oh. this is still working fine and and this is better but still not perfect but better we can see as well a few stuff that can be fixed like we can see a bit of a frame here but everything else works nice this is also not nice. Well, it's not perfect. It could work, but I th I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do better. So, not done yet, but almost there. I will do one last try and then we will call it a night. But it's almost there. And and we are getting close, I think. But definitely the, um, the, the middle of it is kind of tricky. I'm wondering if, if, if it's because of this, but I'm not sure. Right, so let's select the blanket again and remove or hide everything else here and i'm going to move the blanket from ea here and let's try again so So this was the easiest part, I think, because this was uh, minor details um, that was not working. So we well, really so hard. Yes, it is. You were doing this since perfect timing. I was already making bed and I'm having issue with the bedding in Blender. So now I can finish it. Yeah, well, good luck. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it took me a lot of time to um, really succeed my first one. Now I'm, I'm getting a hand of it and this stuff with, um, um, how to call it, um, 
the subdivision surface is working much better because before I was um, transferring weight from the unsubdivided, unsubdivided uh, model and it was definitely not working properly. So now it's better but um, I'm still not sure exactly what's wrong with this. So I will try to make it fit better here. Okay, I tried something, I think I remember I did that once. Is I use Ctrl T, which means I um, transform everything in triangle. I'm not sure it will change anything, but I'm trying. Also, there is a hole in it. That might be the reason why some stuff are not working in here as well. Okay, um, bring back my cover. nothing else to say if you guys have question and you want to um, entertain uh, me and the chat while I'm, I'm trying to fix this please go ahead you can um, tell some joke or talk about the last build you made or add some suggestion about why you wanted me 
to create next, especially for my advent calendar. Because the tricky thing about my advent calendar is um, I'm doing single item. And this is actually very difficult to do one item that can actually be standalone. Usually I work with sets because it's much easier to do a chair that will go with a desk or to make some clutter that will do go with something. And doing single item is very difficult. I always struggle to find ideas to so I already uh, have written some ideas especially since I've been playing again which I don't do very often but sometimes I don't know why I j just feel like it and uh, I'm only using with my CC object like I use a lot of um, CC for CIS but for object I only use mine it's more my preview because then I know every item I'm using on mine so it's easier uh, as well because it's avoid me as well some receive question because then I can say like everything is in on the on the preview is mine and and I noticed a few items that I never made and when I was doing my house I was bothered the fact that it was EA and I thought that maybe I could make some. A couple of CC makers have been using a Pinterest group to see what people would like. That'd be cool if we could do that. When you discuss server, you could make an inspo like channel. That way, you see what he like, but you get to pick. That's that's a good idea. Actually, I have a Google form on my website where people can um, post link. But it's kind of annoying for me to consult, and I think it's not easy enough for people to use or to find. So maybe a Discord channel is nice. Because I feel like if I give access to Pinterest, I will be overwhelmed by uh, uh, images and people we keep posting and posting because pinterest is kind of a gap for this because once you click on an image it suggests more and then you want like to add more and i feel like if i open a pinterest board i will have too much image from it and no text as well so no context because sometimes you post an image and there is many things in it and and not always like uh so, but the Discord channel is nice because I feel um, maybe I could put a rule that like no more than three pic pictures by people, so people you know don't um, spam with this and this and this and of this page and all this page and you know kind of uh, too too much ent enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, but that's a good idea, I think. There are notes you could add, but this channel will help you out more since in your server. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, I will write it down. I will do that tomorrow. You have more work to Pinterest. Yes, and I have one moderator <laughs> on, on Discord, so she can help me. You know keep people in check although I never had any problem with moderation before okay let's try again one last time before I'm going to bed this time one last thing I'm going to do different is I will also triangulate this to see if it works better Right, so cover EA. Then, no, I need to go in weight paint. Cover EA, cover normal. And weight mode. Transfer weight. And. And clean. And also, I have noted something, so maybe I should do that as well. I should toggle auto normalize. This. 
this. This is probably um, what's causing the hole when she's sleeping. So this is probably something that can I can probably make better tomorrow. I will probably work on it tomorrow. This looks fine. Hopefully this will look fine. This might be the reason, the blue spot in here might be the reason, I think. Okay, let's try. Um, pew, 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 pew. Okay, I need to bring back together this and this and save and let's try again. So that is the last try of the night and then I'll go to bed. Hopefully it will be better so I have minor stuff to fix tomorrow because I hate waking up and having so much to do to finish the item I started the night before. Like I feel like it, it's less but still not fixed, still got work to do on it. I don't know why it just poking around in the middle like this. So same in here, it's a bit better but I can still make it a bit better. But that's that's better in here and that's not better in here and that's almost better in here we still have more in here so definitely this part is not working this part here this part so i'm going to take a screenshot so i know exactly where it's wrong and tomorrow i will work on that part and why it's not working but it's almost almost there but not there but also almost there anyway this will be the end of this stream thank you so much for everyone that follows me along the way this is a complicated way as you can see um the weights are very complete it took me some time to understand the process and even now you can um, see that 
I'm still not there yet. I'm, I'm not uh, succeeding on my first try. And I still need to understand exactly why it's wrong. Like, I feel that it's not only making it fit, it could be something else. So tomorrow I will retry again. Uh, maybe I will try to put some more um, subdivision. I don't know. I will try different. Probably start from zero and restart again. Because I need to understand what's wrong. And, and then that's it. So no stream this Sunday. Because I have um, a meeting all day. And I won't be able to make it on time. I will be also very tired. So next stream will be on Tuesday, next Tuesday, and I will try to think about making a poll on Patreon to choose another time zone to do um, something, uh, another one, uh, where I could do that. That would be easier for all the people to join in and also where for me, so I don't um, go to bed too late because then I all uh, desynchronized. De I don't know if it's the right word, but synchronized. Anyway, um, remember I have a Discord if you need any help with your CC. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me. And, and that's it. Have a nice day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And see you next time. And thank you so much again for uh, spending some time with me. Bye.